you say the victims' rights are at the forefront of this progressive reform, but when you hear about stories like Kim and Irene Lee and many others that are victimized by reoffenders, it doesn't feel that way. The news and the media is running a lot of stories about these reoffenders and these folks who have committed violent offenses consistently, but they're not telling the story about the youth who turned their life around. They're not telling the stories about people who went through diversion programs and that they actually work uh, for the round table and for the support system that are cre that is created around. Well, the are these like just that. acceptable casualties? Is that what you're saying? I believe that uh, these kinds of incidents are not necessarily, you know, uh, uh, casualties, but they are also uh, not isolated. They are, they are isolated incidents in the context of how they are being promoted and talked about by the news media. And what you don't see is you don't see the plethora of success from diversion, from a uh, criminal justice reform perspective. Really, because I, I listened to what the DA says in San Francisco and what the DA says here, and they're out beating the drum on how much they're reducing the prison population. Castro could have said the same thing with the flotilla in 1980 when he emptied the prisons and sent them all off the island, many of whom showed up in Florida. Yeah, he reduced the prison population substantially as well, but he didn't have a plan. Do you have a plan? Absolutely. I mean, my office, my organization worked with a young man uh, in San Diego County, uh, working with San, San Diego County District Attorney Summer Steffen, who's a, actually a moderate. We worked closely with her to, to, to literally uh, put a roundtable of clergy and community leaders and support system around this young person. He was about 14, uh, had, you know, committed, was a part of a robbery and a couple of other things that, that had taken place. And we were able to put a support system around him. Now he's doing really well in, in uh, programs uh, in San Diego County and, and has uh, actually been admitted into the military. So these opportunities are, are the stories that need to be told. Well, Betsy, you've been in law enforcement. How, how do you think the officers feel about this? Well, what's happening now is that the uh, perpetrators of not just misdemeanors, but violent felonies are beating the police officers back to the neighborhood that they are patrolling in a single shift because of uh, not just progressive prosecutors, but bail reform. And, and the cons that, along with the constant vilification of law enforcement, is creating an atmosphere where police officers don't want to stay on the job. So now we have a pro-criminal system, and I believe it's a pro-criminal system, and now we don't have enough police officers to help keep the population safe. This is the reason that progressive district attorneys are not the epitome of the rise in crime across our country in big cities and, and regions. You know, there's been a lot of language about this is the highest crime in the country that we've ever faced. That's not true. We are, we are facing a rise in crime in big cities, but we have to remember that someone has to be arrested in order for charges to be forwarded to the district attorney's office and in order for the district attorney to pursue those charges. If arrests aren't happening in a post-George Floyd 2020 era where a lot of the rhetoric, which I was not on the side of, said defund the police, then, you know, we have to look at the fact that a lot of that rhetoric that took place uh, hurt our efforts for reform because it put people back in a feeling we need to go back tough on crime. And tough on crime didn't work for us either. So there's a balance that we need to strike in the middle of this. And we have police officers who are scared to do policing because of the rhetoric that went forth. But also they're afraid of district attorneys who will hold them accountable if they, uh, you know, fail under, under the law. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.